women from the Bible. Miriam. The name Miriam literally means bitter water. Quote, Miriam means prophetess or lady. Who was Miriam? Miriam was the daughter of Amram and Joshbed. She was the sister of Moses and Aaron. Who was Miriam? Miriam was one of the most important women in the Bible. She is mentioned in more books of the Bible than any other woman. And she is the only woman who has her childhood, adulthood, old age, death, and burial recorded in the scriptures. Who was Miriam? Miriam was considered a prophetess as well as Sarah, Deborah, Anna, Abigail, and Esther. What did Miriam do? Miriam saved her brother Moses, Exodus chapter 2 verses 1 to 10. Miriam, like her older sister, was watching baby Moses when he was placed in a basket on the Nile River. For a five-year-old girl, Miriam showed incredible courage when she approached the Pharaoh's daughter to find someone to breastfeed Moses. Moses' survival depended on the courage and ingenuity of his sister, Miriam. Later, we see Miriam as the leader along with her brothers, Moses and Aaron, leading the Israelites across the Red Sea. Miriam was eager to praise God, as we see after crossing the Red Sea. Her influence was so great that Moses called the people to remember what happened to them 40 years before they entered the land, Deuteronomy chapter 24 verse 9. Exodus chapter 15 verse 20 says, And Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a tambourine and led all the women as they played the tambourine and danced exclaiming the triumph over the Egyptian horses and horsemen thrown into the sea. Miriam taught women about God, and after being freed from slavery, she led women in songs and music. She was a devoted leader with a willing, servant attitude. Miriam was a person that others wanted to be around and follow. Miriam discovered that the gift of prophecy had been given to her, and she used it to help the Israelites lead into the promised land with her brothers, Moses and Aaron. Miriam has been faithful to God and Moses all her life, but here she faces a trial. Unlike Esther, it is not a test of courage in the face of persecution or adversity. This test comes from her own inner thoughts. Temptation does not come from failure but from success. Although Miriam was a faithful servant, she developed a bitter heart and began to complain about her brother Moses and his wife. Miriam was considered a prophetess, but she wanted more and became restless. Miriam was an essential part of Moses' life, from childhood to adulthood. When Moses marries the Ethiopian, Miriam feels excluded, hurt, and angry. Miriam began to ask Moses and speak against him. Numbers 12 to 1, and Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. Numbers chapter 12 with 2, and they said, Hath the Lord has indeed spoken only by Moses? Did he not speak through us? Both Miriam and Aaron had some hard things to say about Moses' wife. The Lord, who hears everything, decides to discipline Miriam by hitting her with leprosy. Miriam questioned Moses' authority and was afflicted with leprosy, which made her skin white as snow. Numbers chapter 12 verse 9, the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. The cloud parted from the tent, and behold, Miriam was full of leprosy, white as snow. Aaron looked at Miriam, and behold, she was a leper. Numbers chapter 12 verses 13 to 15, Moses, who was offended, cried out to the Lord for healing and mercy for Miriam. Even though God healed Miriam, God expressed his disappointment with her actions. If her father had spat in her face, wouldn't she have been ashamed for seven days? Numbers chapter 12 verse 14. The Lord pronounces a seven-day discipline outside the camp for Miriam. Miriam was also imprisoned for seven days, and the people did not leave until Miriam was brought back. However, she continued to search with Moses for the promised land. As the leader of the women and Moses' sister, Miriam had had an unusually influential position in the community. She suffered God's punishment and atoned for her challenge to Moses' authority. 
Miriam's leprosy was interpreted by humans as a dramatic sign that Moses was God's chosen ruler and that Miriam and Aaron's authority, though still important, was less than Moses. Miriam is an example to future generations for disobeying Moses' authority. God will discipline his leaders when a spirit of jealousy and pride enters the camp. Character Traits Responsible, clever, thinking, quick to focus on solutions, caretaker for her brother. What can we learn from Miriam? Miriam was right in her criticism. Moses was not the only prophet of God, she was also a prophet of God. But she was wrong talking against Moses and not talking with him. We need to remember our zeal and use our skills, but we need also to remember and check what was put on her to think and speak out of place. Negative as well as positive traditions about Miriam testify to her prominence, power, and prestige in early Israel. What can we learn from Miriam? Miriam's story is a story of salvation. It reminds us that we will be challenged in our faith and will not always pass the test. But God, in his goodness, will not give up on us and give us another chance. Miriam teaches us that God forgives, forgets, restores, and is always faithful to us. Morale 1. The Lord has given you gifts and wants to use them to glorify him, just as he used Miriam. 2. Don't compromise on things you know are true. 3. Wait for God. In life, there will be ups and downs, revelations, and waiting times. In times of silence, it is our duty to let Christ speak to us.